In 2008, a group of Russian archaeologists found the remnants of a stunning bracelet, made of a dark green colored rock, but the stunning bracelet was made 60,000 years ago. The bracelet would have reflected sun rays when exposed to sunlight, and cast a deep shade of green by the night fire. It would have almost felt like magic. Remarkably, the bracelet was so beautiful and so advanced, that the archaeologists found the results of the radiocarbon dating unbelievable. The bracelet was at least 60,000 years old. The Denisova cave with a bracelet was found is a huge Siberian cave in the Altai Mountains in southern Russia, near Kazakhstan. Soviet archaeologists discovered the cave in the 1970s, and the cave was home to human species for 180,000 years. The last human living there was a hermit named Dionysi, after whom the cave got its name. The Altai Mountain Cave is widely believed to hold the secrets of man's origins. The rarity of the stone, and the technical sophistication suggest that it was an exceptionally precious item, made specifically for a prehistoric princess or a woman belonging to high society. Experts believe that the beautiful and fragile bracelet was worn only on special occasions. Moreover, ancient people associated jewelry with magical properties, so the artifact must have held some special significance for the wearer. Interestingly, Anatoly Derevyanko, a leading Russian archaeologist, speculated that the wearer of the bracelet died a violent death, since the bracelet had been shattered by a strong blow while the wearer had been trying to protect herself by raising her hands. This scenario has many interesting implications. Why was this prehistoric princess hiding out in the cave, and who were their enemies? Was she killed when the bracelet broke, or was it an accident? It is like something out of a Russian novel, but we can only speculate. The intricate design of the modern-looking jewelry has long bewildered experts. The two fragments that scientists discovered were 0.9 cm thick and 2.7 cm wide. They estimated that the bracelet had a diameter of 7 cm, and they also found a drilled hole that has a diameter of approximately 0.8 cm. In-depth analysis of the artifact has revealed its age to be between 60,000 and 70,000 years. The sophistication with which the stunning bracelet was crafted challenges our understanding of our prehistoric human ancestors, so the Denisovans may have been far more advanced than we ever realized. Furthermore, the techniques and tools used for crafting this bracelet are not characteristic of the Paleolithic era. The design shows signs of easel speed drilling and use of a rasp similar to modern boring tools. The green-hued stone was also polished, using skins and leather that had varying levels of tanning. After carefully studying the bracelet, experts found that the drill had a high-speed rotation and minimal fluctuation. This sophisticated technology, though common today, had been considered too advanced for the time the bracelet was created. The outer surface, near the drilled hole, also shows a polished zone. Experts believe that a soft organic material was used for polishing. It is also suggested that the bracelet had a leather strap attached to some kind of a heavy charm. The positioning of the polished section also helped to identify the bottom and top part of the bracelet, and it was concluded that the jewelry was made to be worn on the right hand. Earlier assumptions were that artifacts of such sophistication were first made 12,000 years ago, during the Neolithic era. Made of chlorite, the stone bracelet has a striking green color. Interestingly, chlorite is not found where the artifact was discovered, which means it must have been imported from over 150 miles away. One thing is sure, the Denisovan bracelet will always be one of the oldest bracelets, and one of the most beautiful pieces of jewelry made by our Stone Age ancestors. However, not only the bracelet was found in a very remote cave, but also found in the cave were a ivory tiara, beads made of ostrich eggs, and a ring made of ivory, plus a bone whistle that might have been a part of a larger flute. There was quite a collection of mammoth ivory found inside the Denisova cave. 30 pieces in total with various types beads, three rings, parts of bracelets and arrowheads. Finding a piece as big as tiara is an incredibly rare discovery for Siberia. The tiara may be the oldest of its type in the world, and it appears to have had a practical use, 
to keep hair out of the eyes. What's more, its size indicates it was for male, not female use. Marks on the tiara show it had wear and tear before being discarded as broken in a cave, that is one of the most significant treasure troves of early man anywhere in the world. There were no religious symbols on the woolly mammoth tiara, made at a time when the giant species still roamed Siberia with ancient man as a predator. The beads of ostrich shells are less than one centimeter in diameter, with a hole slightly wider than a millimeter. The beads measure less than one half inch in diameter and are thought to be between 45,000 and 50,000 years old. The ostrich eggshell is quite robust material, but the holes in the beads must have been made with a fine stone drill. The beads could have been part of a bracelet or a necklace, or may have been sewn into clothing. The presence of the beads in Denisova cave suggests that the people who lived there had trade contacts to import either the eggshells or the finished beads. The jewelry items were found in the same archaeological layer where the bracelet of dark green stone was found. The ostrich at that time lived more than a thousand kilometers away from the Denisova cave. Similar beads have been found in a cave in South Africa and they are dated to be at least 44,000 years old. Also found was a 7cm polished needle, that has an eye hole at one end for thread. The world's second oldest needle is 7cm long and can still be used for weaving. Scientists found that the sewing needle, complete with a hole for thread appears to be still usable after 50,000 years. It was made from a bone from the bone of a large and so far unidentified bird. Also discovered in the cave was a stone pencil with sign of usage, that had traces of ochre. Other finds include ivory and talc, soapstone, beads and a marble pebble with traces of ochre. We cannot say how exactly it was used, but it is believed it was for some artistic purpose. Older ochre drawing implements have been found in Africa, but this would seem to be one of the oldest discovered in Eurasia. But the discovery does not stop with jewelry, needles, pencils and musical instruments. Archaeologists also found bones of a small horse, in the same layer as the other artifacts in the Denisova cave. The species of horse is called the Ovidov horse and was earlier believed to have died long ago, but these findings show that the horse was alive more recently. The Denisovans probably hunted the horse for food. I wanted to tell you about Brilliant, the sponsor of this video. Learn interactively with Brilliant's fun hands-on lessons in math, science, and computer science. Interactive learning helps you learn six times more effectively than watching lecture videos. Instead of just memorizing, they teach you how to think about STEM by guiding you through fun problems. You'll get practice with real problem solving. That helps you train your critical thinking and creative problem-solving skills. With Brilliant, anyone can understand concepts in STEM. In school, people are often trained to apply formulas to rote problems. But this traditional approach prevents deeper understanding of concepts, reduces independent critical thinking, and cultivates few useful skills. The capacity to think critically separates the great from the good. Brilliant is a fun and interactive way to learn real problem solving and deeply understand STEM. Join the millions of people already learning on Brilliant with a special offer just for listeners. Head to brilliant.org forward slash highly compelling to get started for free with Brilliant's interactive lessons. The first 200 listeners will also get 20% off an annual membership. Click the link in the description. Furthermore, the Denisovans did not only make fine jewelry and music. Beside the world's oldest bracelet, the Denisovans gave us many other remarkable discoveries. We know that some modern human genomes contain fragments of DNA from the ancient population of humans of Denisovans. A finger bone was also recently found in a cave in Southeast Asia, and some Chinese fossils, such as Dragon Man are suspected of being Denisovan. New studies provide the first robust timeline for the Denisovan fossils and DNA recovered from the cave sediments, as well as the environments that the Denisovans experienced. The new studies show that hominins have occupied the site of Denisova cave almost continuously, through relatively warm and cold periods over the past 300,000 years.
leaving behind stone tools and other artifacts in the cave deposits. Fossils and DNA traces of Denisovans are found from at least 200,000 to 50,000 years ago, and those of Neanderthals from between 200,000 and 100,000 years ago. The finger bone of a young girl with mixed ancestry reveals that the two groups of hominids met and interbred around 100,000 years ago. Although Denisovans persisted at the site until 50,000 years ago, this does not preclude their later survival elsewhere. They were evidently a hardy group, living through multiple episodes of the cold Siberian climate before finally going extinct. We know frustratingly little about the geographic distribution and demography of the Denisovans, except for the head-scratching finding that Aboriginal Australians and New Guineans are the only people alive today with substantial amounts of Denisovan DNA in their genome. Scientists have found Denisovan DNA in the Melanesian people of Papua New Guinea and the Solomon Islands in the Pacific, and their DNA even got as far as Australia. But how did they get there? Indeed, DNA research suggests that Denisovans interbred with modern humans and with Neanderthals, and the Melanesians have 5% of Denisovan DNA. The Sherpa of Tibet people also inherited their super-athlete gene, which enables them to breathe easily at high altitudes, from Denisovans. We now know much more about the life and times of the Denisovans, but there are still many unanswered questions. While our understanding of the history of Denisovans has come a long way, there are still many missing pieces of this intriguing puzzle.